So let's go online and look for some um, progress bar. So I'm gonna go here and do progress uh, bar HTML. And let's go to W3 and see what we have. So we have this one right here. Okay, so we have this that we can use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just copy this and go back to the application and let's go to our component. And I'm just gonna put this like on top of this form right here and see what it looks like. So you can see it's right here. I wanna make it a little bit bigger. Um, so I'm gonna change the styling a little bit. I'm just gonna put some inline style. We don't need this ID here. So I'm gonna pass in style and let's give it a width, uh, maybe 500 pixel and then give it a height of maybe, oops, maybe 25 pixel. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so that looks better, right? So now what I wanna do is to show this dynamic progress whenever the files are being uploaded. So let's go back and we're gonna set our value to this, okay? So we can bind to this value. As you can see, it's 32. If I change it to 90, you should see this is gonna go all the way up here, okay? So you can see this is the value or the attribute that is controlling the, the progress bar here, which is this value here. So we can just bind to this value and we don't need this 32%. So let's go into the component and let's go down here and let's define some, let's say file status and let's set this to an object literal and let's give it a, uh, like a status and it's gonna be a string. We're gonna start with empty for now and then we can pass in a percentage. And this is gonna be a number, but we're gonna start with zero. So now we can change the values on this object and then show the progress. So here, I'm just gonna copy this. And what I wanna do here is, so whenever the file is being uploaded, when we get all of the events here, we can go ahead and change that, okay? So we can go down here and then call our object, and then we can set the percentage to whatever the event is. Remember whenever, so let's comment this out for now so that we don't get an error. So whenever we select some files, for instance, oops, you see we have loaded and total. So we can divide these values and then determine the percentage. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go here and let's say the percentage is gonna be equal to event that loaded. And then we're gonna divide this by the amount that is um, that is the total. So here we're gonna say event that total. So this is gonna give us the percentage of everything that's being uploaded, and then we can get the value here. So let's go and console log that and pass the status here. We can also set the actual status. So we can set this fast status that uh, status equal, let's put a string, let's say progress. Okay, so that we know this is progress. And let's copy those two, paste them here. Let's set this to zero whenever we get the response and set this to some string like done. And we, this has to be this. And let's just console log it as well so we can see it. So now if we go back and we select some files, and click open. Okay, so we can see our status and everything is, is going. Okay, so you see the status here, we have progress and then loaded. And then, oops, the status stays done, so this is incorrect. We can put a check here and say if the event, and we can check the status and see if it equals 200, then we're gonna do all of this. Okay, so we don't wanna do this unless everything is resolved. So I'm gonna move all of this code inside here and we're still gonna need the break. Okay, so this is only gonna be done and the percentage is gonna be zero whenever the response is 200 and then we're done. So let's go back and let's select some files. All right, so we have all the progress and then we have the done down below and then the percentage is back to zero. So we can use this so that we can, you know, show the progress on a progress bar here on the UI. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna round this up. So I'm gonna do math that round and then I want to multiply this by 100 so that we can get the percentage. This percentage is gonna be expressed as from zero to 100, okay? So let's go and this is not floor, this is supposed to be round. So let's go and check it out. Select some files. 
open, you can see now it makes more sense. And we have a typo here. This is supposed to be total. And let's go ahead and take a look. Select some files. Okay, you can see the percentage here. Okay, so we convert this number, we divide them, and then we set it as a percentage as you can see here. So what we can do is, let's remove this log. Remove this log as well. Well, we need this so that we can show the response. So let's put it down below here. And let's try this one more time. Select some files, open. All right, there we go. Okay, so you can see we get all of the event. And then after everything is done, then we get the issue response. And then we get our status, which is done. And then the percentage is back to zero. So we can use this to show this progress bar, which is going to be pretty easy. So what we can do is we're going to take this percentage and then bind it to the value here. So we can use property binding just like that and then pass in the value for this here. And just to for sanity check, we're going to do ng if if the status is progress okay so that we don't get an error in the browser and i'm gonna put this on a separate line okay so we're gonna show this value as a percentage so now it doesn't show because we don't have anything going on here so now if i select some files upload you can see the progress okay boom when it's done because it's gone because the status is done it's no longer a progress and you can see here now, if you want to see it more, that means we have to select more files. So let's go ahead and select all of those files and let's do open. As you can see here, we have a very nice progress bar and you can see the percentage here as well that we're console logging. So that was more angular than just the HTTP, but this is a very crucial part of the HTTP client whenever you're using to make requests. Because if you're building an application, you know, chances are you might have to upload files and you might have to show something to the user so that they understand there is something going on. So that's uh, how you would do this. Again, there are different ways you can do this. You don't necessarily have to use a switch here. Like you can use if statement, but I like to use a switch because I think it's a little bit cleaner, but you can use if statement and you can, you know, change whatever you want here as long as you can make this work. So again, if we select all those files, open, oops, it's the same file. So we have to refresh. There was no change event that was registered because we selected all those 33 files before. So let's go ahead and select those files. Select all of them, open, and you can see this is our nice UI that we've built. So you guys can take this further, like if you want to build your application, um, this always works, so it's always gonna work. And this is how important that those flags are, okay? So if we don't set this, it's not gonna work, okay? We're not gonna be notified of the HTTP event and we're gonna get an error if we're trying to return HTTP events here, okay? So again, if we look at the status, you can see inside of the body, we have all the name of the 33 files, which is an array of string as you can see here. So this is how you would use those flags if you were trying to do some upload or download. And again, if you look here, we can also set the download progress and it's pretty much the same thing in case you're downloading some file. You can do the same and then just look at the download event and then you can do whatever UI manipulation that you want to do. So that's just one example I wanted to show you guys because I know this has been a question uh, on the internet because I've been, I was looking at this like a few years back and I was like, oh, okay, this is pretty easy. So this is how you do this. So you can use this in your application and it's very nice user experience and you can use Bootstrap or whatever UI you want. You don't have to use this, um, this basic progress bar. So I'll see you guys in the next one.